We had a great opportunity to play Wisconsin Green Bay. A lot of our players are from that area. A lot of our players have played with um, the active members of their team on different AAU teams and have heard of them from inside their conferences in high school. A really good opportunity for our team to play against one of the top teams in the country at the Division One level. Uh, they're very fundamental. They're very quick. Uh, they're really good at all the little things, and um, they beat us in in ways that we were trying to pay attention to and trying to fix. Um, they beat us in in a lot of transition points, but I do think that we got a lot out of it. I think it was it was easy to see how when the game got tight, um, we started playing a little bit um, tighter to our player as opposed to playing a little bit more team defense. So I think that was good for us to learn. I thought we did a great job taking care of the ball in the second half um, and a great job on the boards, which is something that we've been talking about this entire preseason. So, you know, there was some good. There are some things that we can learn from. I think they were encouraged after we had conversation and watched the film together. I think they were encouraged about what we can do moving forward. I think we're all a little disappointed in the score. Uh, I think it happened faster than, than we had planned. But I do think, um, you know, you have to take that with – an education of what how the game actually went. So uh, we've done that. We're ready to move on, uh, learned a lot, and, and ready for this weekend. It really was a, a great opportunity for, for Brenna to step up, for Kelly to step up. Uh, both of them, I thought, took a, a major leadership role. I thought the girls that came in off the bench were phenomenal. I thought our last five minutes of the game was some of the best ball movement we had had the entire game. So there was a lot of really good things. Um, our, our leaders stepped up, and th that's encouraging moving forward. This is a great opportunity for uh, us to be able to play GMAC teams. There's going to be a lot of of that going on, especially with the South schools that are in the GLIAC um, that choose to play the in-region games with the GMAC conference. Uh, so we've given ourselves an opportunity to, to have some head-to-head, -to, -head, um, to be able to, you know, we think those teams are going to be successful uh, throughout their season. Um, so we have to see how we compare to them and give ourselves hopefully a, a step up to, to start the year. Uh, Davis and Elkins lost their leading scorer from last year. Um, that being said, they have a lot of very capable scorers, and they had a lot that were very steady. Uh, I think they're going to – I assume they're going to run a lot of the, the same stuff, but um, Ursuline comes in. They were fourth last year in the NCAA region. Uh, they held that spot from the time the first ranking came out or pretty close from the time the same rank the ranking came out. And – uh, they've just been a consistent program who's made the national tournament. And uh, so this is, these are two huge games for us. I'm really excited about our team because I think we have a lot of depth. I think we have an opportunity to put players in at any time and not lose anything, uh, give opportunities, uh, give sparks. A lot of different people can bring a lot of different things, and we do expect – uh, playing time to go to a number of people. Defense is always going to be our key to to winning anything. Um, we want to make sure that we are making a presence, our presence known immediately. Uh, I think composure um, to to handle the first two games. There's going to be it's a tournament, and there's there's three other teams down there, and everybody's playing their first game, and we have to use our leadership and our experience to our advantage to be able to handle the first game jitters. Um, everybody else's first game jitters uh, and handle ourselves with composure.